as I stated in the first video, this is a January 2000 AU. I purchased a Warner Ball Toyota in 2004. It's just a 4 litre 6. Nothing special. I have put a KN in air filter. Um, been a very reliable vehicle. Excellent on fuel. It's now looking very sad and sorry. It is 20 years old. And, you know, um, they could have painted them better. I mean, well, the paint's still on, but the clear's, clear's coming off. Clear's all just falling apart. So, I put this on. I wish I hadn't. I look, they look better without them. I put the Avanti photons on. I also have DBA slotted and cross drilled rotors because the front ones warped quite early on. So, and I wasn't going to put the original shit back on. So, and they've been excellent. They improved the braking heaps. So it was purchased in 2004. 64,000 Ks on the clock. So it has 233,000 Ks now. And it's a good, good vehicle. And I mean, of course, there's a lot of Ford haters out there. I mean, it's just personal opinion. Um, I've I've had a pretty good run with all my Fords, except except for this shit box. But yeah, so it's had the spring dampeners replaced because shock absorbers is a misnomer. They're not shock absorbers. I've had to replace one coil pack. That was my fault because when I changed the spark plugs, I didn't change the leads. Stupidly, I should have changed the leads at the same time because the leads run over the top of the motor and they get really hot. So when you change the plugs and you move the leads, it actually just breaks down on the inside. And number four lead stuffed up. Um, so there was too much resistance, burnt out number four in the core pack. So I had to have the core pack replaced. Uh, now change leads and plugs at exactly the same time to prevent that from happening again. I did have to change the electric regulator in this. Um, stupidly I bought the cheapest one on eBay and I'll do a little video about that later on. Uh, don't buy that unit shit um, you can spot it because it has white plastic instead of the black plastic so um, actually um, very rarely I don't like to put second hand parts on my car but at the time I didn't have another new regulator I did have a spare door I had a whole door uh, pulled the regulator out of that and checked it it was working I've put it in it's been fine so but normally I wouldn't put second-hand parts on unless you cannot get brand new. You know, um, if you're going to do all that work, because that was a lot of work, it was extremely difficult the first time because there was nobody on YouTube that actually showed you how to get into the door and how to do it. That will be another video I'll do later on. Uh, with I'll use my $90 um, Series 2 AU as to show how to do that but at the moment um, I'm in Adelaide during the Christmas New Year break so um, I can't I can't do that video at the moment because I'm not pulling that door apart again that I pulled that apart twice want to just leave it as it is so yeah it, um, as I said I've had to replace the spring dampeners um, a 
of course there's tyres, you know, but tyres are just general wear. Uh, it's gone through a lot of exhaust, but I, I was getting really cheap exhaust. Um, I got a, a much better exhaust put on in Adelaide and that's held up quite some time now. Um, otherwise, you know, it's not been an issue. The only, only thing is, is what other people do to it, you know. Um, it got keyed when it was new to me in 2004 by a disgruntled boarding student and his parents had to pay for this side to be repainted um, you know and they did a shit job too so this this side's falling apart more than the driver's side the driver's side is the original paint recently some moron ripped out my antenna so I've had no radio and unfortunately still got the tape deck but I was recently given some tapes so I've got some music to listen to again now yeah so it hasn't really hasn't really been that many issues with this car even though a lot of people they hate them they rag on them heaps they say they're shit you know when you got a, you know oh, forward fix or repair daily well that's not true I've had heaps of K's in this car and you know it goes well it could the air conditioner doesn't work anymore 20 years um, if I can get the money I'll get that fixed one day but that's probably never happened you know, being on new start you know there's there's always a list of round to it or you know things to do that never happen um, so this is my January 2000 Series 1 AU. They actually call these a Series 1 and a half. It has the grill from the ute. It has electric front windows, normal rear windows. Um, it still has a tape because the Series 2 had the CD player. Series 2 has electric windows on all four doors so yeah this they're they're kind of known as the series one and a half they're, they're in between the one and the two and had i known you really want a series three um series one isn't the best uh, the front suspension um componentry is really expensive if you have to replace any of that because it's different to the Series 2 and the Series 3. You have uh, different sway bar mounts, basically. And so um, you can buy everything for 2 and 3 is heaps cheaper when you're talking the, like the lower wishbone. And it's just a lot cheaper. This, if you need a pair for this, you're looking at $700 for a pair. And if you need... Uh, a pair for a series two or three is 230 or something so I'd avoid the series ones apparently series two have electrical problems I can attest to that because my series two has had some sort of electrical fire and they put in an extra wire and the back of the headlights all burnt out and that so I'd avoid probably avoid a series two as well but yeah that's this is my AU and I like it.